In a society governed by strict laws, nobody's exempt from their reach, no matter their background or identity. But there are those who think they can twist these rigid rules to their favor, simply by kicking up a storm or throwing their weight around. So what happens when these Karens find themselves under the unforgiving spotlight of police body cams? It's a ruthless lesson for some, and a wild ride for others. Let's take a look into a few cases where Karens thought they were above the law. Okay, imagine this scene from the eyes of a cop. It's just an hour before midnight. You are absolutely tired, and then you get a call about a woman who has locked herself in her car. You go out there to see that there is just one lone car standing there in the darkness. And when you get close to the car, a woman by the name of Samantha suddenly pops out of the car and hands you the keys. Unfortunately for this cop, this isn't going to be as easy as writing some speeding ticket. The chaos was just about to begin. Here you go, I'm getting out of the car, please help me. Who are you? Samantha. Hello? She has my keys. I took the keys out of a drunk. She drank an entire car. Okay, come on. I'm coming. I'm gonna grab my car. My 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 stuff. If, if I'm somebody. arrested, she can't drive like this. She doesn't drink, and it's not a good. She needs to at least not listen, drive. Listen. Get her an Uber home. The only one that I see is intoxicated is you right now. Okay? That's fine. Let her drive drunk. Let her drive drunk. Let her drive drunk. Don't be walking anywhere. Let her in the drive of drunk. One here. Let her drive drunk. That's on you. Dude, do you understand that she's Man, come over here. Come back to the squad car. Come don't touch me like that. I, I don't Listen, want you to get hit. I don't to touch me. I don't want you to get I can walk. walk back I'm very here. well okay walk to back walk. over here then. Walk back over here. Walk back over here. No, not No, no, no. You're going to walk over to my squad car. No, unless Where'd you have me under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm going to detain you for your safety in a minute here. Because okay, because I'm not safe right here, sir. I am not safe right now. Drive drunk. What's most impressive about Samantha is how confidently she can say complete nonsense. She's not only trying to teach the cop about the laws that he must abide by, but she also flat out lies to him about her friend being drunk. It's clear from the get-go that she has no intention of complying with the cop. Stop. Do you understand that I called the Stop. cops? You're gonna get Do you hurt. realize You're that I one... called the cops? You're gonna get one of that the here. phone. Do you understand? Do you understand that I called the cops to my mom? And I took the keys from her? You're doing okay. the wrong thing and you Give me that. Don't touch me. What Stop is wrong it. with you? Get in the car. Are you serious? You're, you're now detained. You're no, now detained. you're, you're about to be detained because you want to know something. You're hurting. You're detained. I didn't do anything. You're detained. Okay, are you going to keep touching my Stop touching my Oh, stop it. Then you get wish. up, weirdo. Stop. Stop. Put your arms behind touch your me. back. What the f is wrong with you? Put your arms behind your back. No, I didn't do anything Can wrong. I get some out yes, here? Yes, please. Yes, please. Put Don't your arms behind me. your back. You're resisting. Stop. Psycho, don't you? Stop. 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 Put your arms and behind know, your back. And I know the sheriff right here. So keep keep touching me. Sure Please. you do. Are you serious? You're done. You I keep can't saying wait. that, but you're still not cooperating. If you touch me again, you're done. You stop, stop it. touching me. I'm being nice right I now. I have not enough. touched you, have I? Then don't touch me. You. I have not touched you. You're going to get us in the middle of the road. No, you're going to get yourself here. killed. I told you. Because I am just literally trying to help my mother, and you are get touching in the car. me. No, get in the car. Then. No, I don't need to do anything. Dude, what is your fucking problem? I'm suing you. Get in the car. I am suing you if you choke me one more time. I am suing you. Don't touch me. Do you have a reason to arrest me, sir? Get in the car. Do you have a reason to arrest me and choke me? Yes. And hurt me. battery. Yeah? You think so? Because yes. you're battering me because I'm going to sue and fucking charge you. Don't touch me. What is wrong with you, psychopath? I want the sheriff! Hello! Please help! Please help! Get in the car! No, ma'am! Ma'am! I haven't done anything wrong! We'll get his camera! Okay, yeah. I haven't touched him! Any little puppy wave? Would you help me, bro? Bro! 
No. Listen. Can you listen to me? Listen. Listen to me. Ma'am. Can you please listen She's to me the one time? Listen. I don't give a shit. I don't fucking ever touch my dick again. I'm not touching don't your wrist. Don't ever touch it. Yeah, you're going to break my wrist now? Are you serious? Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. For what? For right now, aggravated battery to an officer. Oh, really? Because check your camera. Oh, turn away from oh, me. Stay right okay. here. Okay, is your battery on? Get your foot off of me. Yeah, oh, okay. this be an audio thank video Thank you. Record. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Because you just hurt me. Unfortunately, the police officer had to deal with this headache for quite a bit, and there's just no ending in sight. And as we'll soon find out, things only get much worse from here on out. What a classic. Good. All right. You're done, dude. Have a seat. <laughs> Are you serious? Don't touch my face. Don't put your hand on my face. Turn towards me. I never touched you to begin with. You touched me, remember? You would not listen and comply. Have a seat. Because I don't need to. Have I didn't do anything. Have a seat into the car. You're better. Right you even admit it. Fucking elbows. You're better on the fucking Stop right resisting. Dude, you Stop understand? grabbing a hold of Dead. me. Stop grabbing a hold of me. I will. And put your feet in the squad car. You are car. hurting me. That you are trying to hurt me. So oh, put really? your feet in the car. Have a seat. You are under arrest. What? Put your feet no. in the car. Have no. a seat now. I will not. You're hurting me. I asked you to please let go of my arms. I'm short. I am short. Do you understand my volume? That's fine. That's fine. I'm not hurting or doing anything wrong. Okay. I'm asking you, I'm, I'm sure. You understand that? I'm going to have to go back and grab it. I, I can't, I can't. Look at my, I'm, I'm showing you. I'm showing you. I am very small. So okay. I cannot do that. I understand that, okay? What I want you to do, though. And you want to know the officer touched me and I'm What I want you to do is put your feet in the squad You're car. You're hurting me, I can't. I'm, all I'm doing is holding your arm. And I would like to see the sheriff. Turns off me and I will get in the car. Have his Ask him to let his What's hands your first name? Me. What's your first name? I don't need to tell you. Okay, it's Samantha. Guess what? I'm still not arrested. Yes, you are. You're under arrest. Samantha, if you don't have a seat, let go of my hand let now. Let go of me. Let go of my hand now. Or what? We're going to put you in a, in a restraint Where device called the rest. Just so you know, okay? We're going to put you in a I'm restraint device. I'm waiting for the sheriff because I haven't done a fucking thing wrong and I'm a fucking American sovereign citizen and I haven't done shit. Just look at how the police officer at the scene have struggled to get her in the car. This back and forth has been going on for quite some time now, and the officers still show restraint. Considering the fact that there are multiple officers present at the scene, it would be extremely easy for them to overpower her, but they still show restraint and try to persuade her to get in the car of her own free will, yet she still complains that the officers are hurting her. At, at this, uh, uh, as right, country we're gonna right back now? away, there's a as right the right there. country, yeah, that's right. right. Let me side. talk to a boss. You wanna know why you got a fight? Because she headbutted me and she said she was a fucking communist and she was everybody's in the communist. I, I saw it on video. So be very mad at me for being an hey, American. She's bleeding on her elbow just enough why. Roger. Yeah, from your fucking great officer. So this is what being American looks like. Alright. <laughs> Do you understand that? It's sad, I yeah, wanna I wait so. for this shit. Well, it's the only problem is, is Myers all the way up. Let, Let go, go of my of hand. Me, Do not me. grab my hand. Do you understand me? Don't Do not put your nails me. into my hand. I have nails. Do not stop touching me. Do not grab my hand. Can you please help me? Okay. No. You let let him go. Have a seat. Get in the car. Have a seat. Have a I'm seat in the, the squad sheriff. car. The sheriff's not coming. Oh, now she's kicking. <laughs> Got her hands wet. Yes. There we go. Really, sir? Yeah. You seem like a trick dad. Yeah. Come on. Phil, let me know when you're ready. Right. Yeah. Hey. Take a missing Phil. Are you serious? You understand? I got like, the buckles down there on the bottom. Sir, can you look at me in the eye for yeah. one moment? Let me just get the people down you. Did you see the camera? Mm hmm. That's why I was defending our country after I got hit. What? Didn't you take a note? We're good. Yep. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Why are you doing that? Make sure the rear camera's on for me. Yeah. Yep.
This woman represents the epitome of Karens. She keeps trying to undermine the authority of the officers, and even saying that she wants to talk to the boss, implying that the officers on the scene were not worth her time. Eventually, despite the incredible restraint shown by the officers, they had to resort to pulling her into the car and using some degree of force. On their way to the police station, Samantha kept yelling and saying inappropriate things about the officers. She even refused to get out of the car once they reached the station. She finally did get charged with felony resisting an officer, causing injury twice, misdemeanor reckless conduct, and battery. But unfortunately, she was not found guilty on all of the charges. Hello. You alright? Sort of leaning with your head back. You have a little too much to drink? Most people enjoy partying once in a while, especially if you've just started to experience life. However, if you take things too far and get so intoxicated that you can't even get home on your own, things can take a darker tone. Throw in some Karen behavior into the mix, and you can bet police officers are not forgetting this night anytime soon. Did you have a little too much to drink tonight? Do you have an ID on you or anything like that? Okay, can I see it please? Yeah. Okay. Hello. You're very um, attractive, and I know you're on duty, but... Why, thank you. That's not your ID. somehow get your number? Are you here with anyone? Yeah? Did you say yeah? Who'd you come with? You had way too much to drink, huh? Just from the looks of her, you can clearly see that she's absolutely dazed. It feels like she's barely aware of what's going on around her. The cops know this and are trying to be as polite as possible, making sure that she doesn't get triggered or upset. Why don't we go walk outside? You have to leave. Like, Ready? now. <laughs> that makes it better for you? He's telling you you have to leave. It's not, it's not an option. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I get that. It's not an option. We're not asking you. Yeah, no, no. I'm just so excited for this. Brooke, right? Okay, Brooke. So, as he just told you, you have to leave. So either you get up and we walk with you and help you walk out, or we pick you up, make you leave, and then you got to go to jail. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You're missing right. the part where like. Right. Yeah. I don't know what you just said. Everyone else protests? Everyone's not going to protest. Nobody wants you here. The business doesn't want you here. Brooke, Brooke, listen. We're not going to make a big deal out of this. Do you have any friends with you? Do you have any friends with you, Brooke? Okay. So why don't we go outside? Where does she go now? Okay, well, let's go outside. Why won't you get up? It's it's not it's not an option. I'm being I'm being nice to you. Explain You're being what's nice going to on. me? Oh my god! I can't wait. Ah, I cannot wait. Do you want to just? She just refuses to take anything seriously and her attitude towards the cops is only getting worse by the minute. She wasn't complying with any of the orders that the cops gave her and didn't even attempt to interact with them. At this point, the cops had no choice but to remove her using force. But surprisingly, she had different intentions. Let's just move her. Yeah. Okay, this is the last time I'm asking you before we go. Okay. Sure. I also I put you yeah, no, 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 I don't give a shit about okay. what you're Well, I'm about. done with that game. You can get up. Uh, you're gonna go in handcuffs. Okay. Just put her in cuffs. Excuse me for what reason? Excuse me for what reason? Excuse me for what reason? No, for what reason? Please tell me for what reason? For what reason? Stand up. Don't do that. That was a dumb idea. Now you're definitely going to jail. Stop moving your hand. Yeah, I'm so curious. Well, yeah. you caused that. No, no, no. I'm, I'm actually so.
fucking curious. And I don't know what you're curious know. about. We literally gave you a hundred chances. You want to put it in your basket? A hundred chances? Is that so, babe? Make that thing that's kind of hot that you just dove into that shit. Oh my god, please tell them I cannot wait for them. Yep. We try to do it gently. Do you think this was gentle? No. Do you know who you're what talking to? Go ahead. One seven nine two. Don't feel nine twenty fifteen. You want to take it out the back way, dude? I don't care. Whichever way is. Well, let's just go. Don't, just don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. You cannot go. Don't touch me. You cannot ever. For a milkshake tagline. Okay. Could you stop following us for like five yeah. seconds so we can do this? I'm sorry, Jay. I'm still at the location. Right over here, I'm going to shoot. Oh my goodness. Do you have any weapons on you before you go to jail? No. No. This is Tyson, so interesting. Can you camera there, real quick? Wow, wait, 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 this is so interesting. Get in the car. No, 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 the actually, car. this is, this is incredibly interesting. No, are you shitting me? It's only after loads of effort that the cops finally managed to get her out of the establishment and into the car. This whole time, she kept struggling and making things worse for the police officers. Honestly, it's just baffling. What part of her brain thinks that the best course of action in her situation is to make sure that police officers have the worst time ever handling her? Does anybody know this? You, you don't work here, do you? No, 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 but nobody knows her. She came in and then uh, she was like trying to hit on a bunch of random dudes. And then nobody kind of knew. And then. Not right now. I'm Wait, no, in the middle of the call. She don't, walked in like the late. She better walk in the late. I can't. You promise me. I'm do it really quick. Can I, can I get yours then? No. Okay, fine. She, she came with one dude. That guy left already, but she was hitting on a bunch of random dudes. And like, do you have her ID? I get back to you. Girl. No, I stopped. And then, uh, and then she w ended up walking into the liquor room, trying to walk into the liquor room, and he's like, no, sit right here, you know what I mean, you have to go, and she's like, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving, and he's like, alright, if you don't leave, I'm gonna call the cops. And then he, she sat there until y'all came, and then, but okay. she was just, she didn't come, like, she's with nobody. Okay. Nobody knows what she's Cool, I appreciate it. He said she just came in here all by herself. She came with another guy that frequent comes in here. He ordered three shots of fire. I don't even know if she ever drank hers. He did his. Or he did. Well, they just got here. Fifteen minutes before I called, she didn't even digest the alcohol that she got. And the guys just know where to be found. He ordered a water, no ice. Chucked his water, cashed out. I saw her kissing somebody else. He walked out. She walked in our door. I even told her, like, listen, I'm gonna call you. So just leave. Just call it a night. Alright, well, simple enough. Uh, you need anything sure. else from us? You think you'll recognize her? Do you need a copy of the dress pass? Or right here, girl, copy. Uh, okay. We just keep them all in one spot. So. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll probably just have the other officer do it, so I'm going to take her to the jail and then... All of this gives us some good background information about the whole situation, and considering the fact that she came in just 15 minutes before, the most probable scenario is that she was already drunk when she walked in through that door. But regardless of how she ended up in this situation, everything she did was caught on body cam, and she was subsequently charged with resisting arrest without violence and public intoxication. Are they trying to fight y'all? Uh -huh. Yeah, she touched Don't know me. Don't know me. She swing on y'all? Bite the uh, swing yeah. on him. What happens when a Karen who thinks that she is above the law tries to board an airplane completely hammered? Well, that is what officers had to find out when they were called about a drunk woman who was seemingly hyperventilating in the airport. Later identified as Laura, she does seem harmless at first glance, but don't let that look fool you, because she had already tried to attack one of the gate agents before police arrived on the scene, and as the officers will soon find out, trying to persuade a drunk Karen is not as easy as it seems. Okay. 
Hey, hold on just a second. Hold on. What's going on? Hey. What's going on? Huh? Can you talk to me? It's a movie L. Huh? It's just a good Mobile, Alabama. Okay, Mobile, Alabama? Yeah. Okay. So why didn't you go to Mobile? Uh, um, it's like leaving in a minute. Huh? Do you have a panic attack or something? Yeah. Oh, probably just go ahead and panic. It's a minute. Oh, a minute. It's leaving. Okay, start speech. It's leaving. Huh? It's leaving in a minute. Okay. In a minute. Have you, hey, let me, hey, answer my question. Have you had something to drink today? Yeah. Alcoholic beverages? Yeah. Where at? Just in the bar. This bar right over here? Yeah. How many did you have? Two. You had two drinks? Yeah. What kind? Do you um, remember? Um, I had two whiskey sours. Whiskey, whiskey sours. sours? Yeah. Just two? Yeah. Okay, have you got your driver's license? When the cops first arrived on the scene, it's pretty clear that she didn't seem stable. Till now, she was more confused than anyone else, and she is fully cooperating with officers at the moment. The cop handles the situation well and asks her for her ID documents, but things are going to get a lot worse really soon. <laughs> oh, huh? Oh, Look in your wallet. <laughs> is that your wallet right there? Yeah. Okay, your wallet's right there. It's in her purse. I just put a license in her purse. In her purse? Yes. Her purse? Yes. Look in your purse. Yes. Yeah. I just put it in there. It's in the purse. Let, 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 let her get it. She said go ahead and look. No. Okay, you're okay, we've got to do okay. it for, okay. for our stuff. Okay, okay. can yeah, you look for it for me? <laughs> look in your purse. It's in there. <laughs> okay, I need you to get your driver's license out. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not going to go in her bag because we don't have we don't have authority. No, where my license is. Look in your look in your purse. That's where it's at. Thank you. Can you get your boarding pass for me? Your boarding pass is in that right there. Can you find that? Okay. Thank you. So why are we why are we striking the the gate agent over here? Oh, no. Did you hit the gate agent? No, I didn't. Huh? I didn't hit him. You didn't touch him? I was scared. Huh? I was scared. Can you tell me again how many drinks you had? I had four. Huh? You had four? Yeah. Okay, before it was two, now it's four. You remember? And this is where she made her first mistake, as the officer rightfully points out before she said that she only had two drinks. But now, when the officers asked the question again, she replied that she had had four drinks. While this can still be attributed to her just being confused and intoxicated, what happens later down the line is not going to be justifiable. Yeah, it's been three or four. It's been three or four, okay. Have you had anything to eat today? No? Okay, have you taken any medication? No medication. Okay, on a scale from zero, would be not being intoxicated at all, to ten, being the most intoxicated you've ever been. Where do you think you are? Probably six or five or six. Five or six? Okay, all right. Uh, did she make contact with you at all? I know she swung at you, but, but she, you know, I was she, was that. she never like made contact, she just swung at you. She was just upset doing like, this, but I, yeah. I moved away. Yeah, so, she, so she didn't like, you, give you a, like a mic Tyson hey man, or anything like that. Okay. Hey, how much did she pay? I didn't know her anything, she came down that way. Okay. Do you have your receipt for your drinks? Where you bought your drinks? No, I don't think I did. You don't? Did you pay for everything? No, they didn't give me a receipt. Uh, yeah? They didn't give you a receipt or anything? Yeah. That's Macy's. Macy's doesn't have anything to do with it. What, you know what bar you drink at? No. So they should be So I take it your son's not here then. He's gonna be here. He's gonna be He'll here. He'll be in Mobile. He'll be in Mobile. Where are you flying to? Mobile. Mobile. So she was having a panic attack. She's been drinking. We just come in. I'll check her out. Make sure she's okay. And uh, maybe we'll probably take her. So. Okay. Is it okay if we take your vitals? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah.
sweet just to eat out what you guys Hello. do. Patrick. He's a firefighter. Hey, is this Patrick? Hey, so this is Officer Lambert with the DFW Airport Police Department. We're out with, I'm um, guessing it's your mother right now. This uh, is Laura. Samuel Allen. So she is uh, severely intoxicated right now. And she uh, did try to uh, get the police in the area. Uh, Officer Lambert with the DFW Airport Police Department. Hey, Laura. Samuel Allen. Samuel Allen. I'm just going to kind of be blunt with you. She's probably going to be coming with us for public intoxication. So she's going to be going to jail for a little bit until she sells what? the drugs. That is correct. 957. Pretty much until she sobers up, we deem her that she's all right to take care of herself. And it's basically on the same line as a speeding ticket, but the reason that she's going in handcuffs is because uh, she's got to be under our watching care so she doesn't harm herself or anyone else. Yeah, it's, it's going to be around like a $300 ticket essentially, but like I said, she's got to go in handcuffs because uh, just based off of her actions, she's not okay to be by herself right now. In the last few minutes, while everyone got ready to take her back to the police station, she was getting more and more agitated. As we can see in the body cam footage, she had started crying in an even louder voice. However, her behavior was only going to get worse as the cops asked her to stand up and began to attempt to move her out of the airport. Under arrest for public intoxication. Okay. Okay. All right. Come on, stand up for me. Come on. Okay, up the other room. Up. All right, back up. tantrum got even worse once she was put under arrest. She was yelling at the top of her lungs, frantically trying to escape the police officers. They did try to warn her and keep her under control, but her inflated ego was having none of that, and she kept trying her best to rebel against the cops. Her behavior was so uncooperative and unstable that the cops had to use a carrier to get her out. She kept crying as if she was the one being wronged, when she had clearly brought this upon herself. <laughs> Oh my god! 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 Oh my
gonna catch an extra charge. You, you understand? Me. Do not kick me again. You are dredging me! You are dredging me! You are dredging me! Oh my god, my ass! Oh my god, my fucking ass! Oh my god, my fucking ass! You're dredging me! Settle down, Laura. You're so crazy! You're torturing me! Nobody's torturing you. You're torturing me! Sit, sit, sit down. Give your hand. Okay. What's wrong with your hand? My ass is dying. Try and get a finger in the cup. I need you to sit back. My ass is dying. Stand up or we're gonna help you stand well, up. Make stand the to help me stand up, motherfuckers. Okay. Eventually, justice was served and she was charged with resisting arrest without violence and public intoxication. Miss, you're not free to leave. Okay, no you're not. Come here. Let me set the scene for you. You're in a police station. You're getting ready to go home and suddenly a call comes through about a person throwing a fit after being deboarded from a plane. The caller reports that the woman was heavily under the influence of alcohol, but the actual details of why she was deboarded remain a mystery. How hard could just one drunk woman be? That's what these police officers were about to find out as they chased her into a bathroom stall. <laughs> I'm just checking on you. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, well, okay, I'm a police officer. I'm here to check on you. Okay, open the stall. Let me, let me. Okay, well, I can talk to you through the stall. What's going on? I have no idea. Like, they, like, I have no idea. Everyone in the said they were fine with me. Uh huh. They were like making an issue. I was like, I'm just gonna delay your flight. I'm not gonna delay your flight. And they were okay. all like, we're fine. But I was like, I'm not gonna delay your flight. So, or are I'm you trying to go vacation. home or on vacation? No, I'm going to work. What do you mean? Okay, do you want to come out here and I can help you out? What airline? Oh, I, don't really, I don't feel sincere in your voice that you're gonna help me out. I'm here to help you. What airline are you flying with? Obviously, no airline. That was the last airline tonight. I'll just f up my money, bro, because I didn't want to make a scene for y'all. Okay, so my biggest. Yeah. Okay, so do you have a boarding pass or are they able to for, for that thing and they even said that you didn't do anything wrong? Like I don't know who is tripping, bro. So do you wanna go try to get rebooked or how am I gonna get rebooked, bro? That was the last flight tonight. Well, do you live in Texas or what? No, I live in Orlando. Okay. So y'all really kind of me. So why did they want you to get off the flight? They wouldn't um, just want anybody to get off the flight. There has to be a reason. They literally, the whole crew did not say that you need to be on the flight. 
they didn't. I voluntarily left because I know how it's like, that in your flight, it like up everything. I don't like so why do you think they wanted you off the flight? I have no idea. Obviously, somebody doesn't want me. They're doing a car move. Like, whatever. It has nothing to do with the whole flight. Okay. Can you open the door so we can go figure this out? Um, no, I don't feel comfortable with that because I feel like the, the whole reason I don't feel comfortable. Okay, so well, I'm, I'm here. I'm not going to leave. I'm, I'm a, my, my, Obviously, I'm here, but I don't know. I don't, I don't trust you guys because the way that I got kicked off the plane was, was irrational. So, no, I don't feel comfortable. Okay, so do you want to get to Georgia for the game tomorrow? Yes! So, what are you doing in the stall? Let's no, get out. I'm scared I don't trust y'all because there was no reason why I was getting to off the plane, so I don't trust y'all. Well, I'm, I, I wasn't no, I'm there. Now, that, that was crazy. I didn't even got kicked off. So, now, how do you make me feel? How did you feel if somebody kicked you off some shit for some crazy shit that didn't even matter? Well, I, I don't work for the airlines. So. It don't matter who you yeah. How did you feel? I would because feel upset. Like, like, you do some shit for no reason. I would be upset. That shit would, like, it would scare you. You'd be yeah. scared. Yeah, and I want I'm some scared. answers. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm a vent right now. Yeah, yeah. and I'd I'm be scared. scared too, but that's why the police are here to help you get some answers. Nobody had to call with me. I don't I, even when I was away, I was like, wait, before I leave, if anyone has a problem with me, let me know and I'll be the plan and I'll make the symbol. Well, can you I open the stall? Nobody can you, said anything. Can you no. open the stall? I'm still, I'm, I'll let you stay on the toilet and no, I'll just, I'm, I'm going to stand right here. I'm not even going to come in. I'm not even going to come in. You're going to arrest me for what? Who said I was going to arrest you? What do you mean that? My dad was Lieutenant. Lieutenant where? No, no, no. I want to call. I, you're, you're we are 911. Yeah. No, no, you're restricting me from 911 access because I was We that. are 911. No, no, you're restricting me from 911 access. That's a felony. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. We are the police when you call 911. Right, we're right. Show up. From these few minutes alone, it's clear that she has a very warped perception of right and wrong. She literally says that the cops are not allowing her to call the police, and doesn't give any clear information as to why she was kicked off the plane. But while Karens like her are not too uncommon, it's not every day you see someone dumb enough to use a bathroom stall as a hiding place. Okay, but did you have anything to drink today? It's not against the law to drink, I'm just trying to... Figure you out here. We gotta see why no, I was going to come clean because I was, they, like, I must have gone in the seat, whatever, and her kids see she got mad. Like, what are you going to say? So, did you have anything to drink today? Well, honestly, this is inconvenience in my plans. It's not what your line is. This is a bunch of time plans. Yeah. Well, do you want to go see if you can get on the plane? Because it's still there. I don't. The cops are now subtly trying to question her, however the woman wasn't willing to comply and didn't give a single straight answer. After a lot of effort, the woman finally opens the door and it seems like she's going to comply with the officers, but this sense of compliance and peace is not going to remain for long. This is all we want for you to come out. I swear to God. Do you have your boarding pass? Yes, ma'am. Where's your ID? Do you have your ID? Am I? Yes. Get it out for me. I'm going to go to Frontier for you. And you swear you didn't have anything to drink today? You're fine. Yes, it's fine. You did not have anything to drink today. I'm, I'm not being out of control. Because you can fly if you haven't had anything to drink and they think you're safe to fly. But there has to be a reason for them to keep you off the plane. So just be honest. Just be honest. Please, me yeah, let's just go out here. Just be honest. Yes. Where is it? My phone. Can you get it out? Yeah, I need a charger. You believe the food? Okay. I don't know why you don't have a plan. Like, they literally said, like, I'm not saying that I left the plane because I have an issue with it. I'm saying, 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 Answer any more questions, I'm gonna call the lawyer. Did you have anything to eat? Today? I'm gonna call the lawyer. Before I answer any eat? questions, I'm gonna call the lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm gonna call the lawyer. Have you eaten today? That's my lawyer, by the way. Okay. You haven't had anything to eat today? That's my lawyer. You take medication? That's my lawyer. Are you flying? That's my lawyer. Are you going to Georgia? That's my lawyer. Atlanta? That's my lawyer. Okay. We can both be Nine. ridiculous. They're running people out of deep, so. Right, that's okay. fine. That's all. Have a pow wow, this is fun. It's great. It's how we want to spend our Sunday night, right? Yeah, bye. Um, like, you know, you know damn well. Yeah. Yeah. So. We'll just hang tight. I will, I'll will. i be happy to leave. I'm going to go see what they're doing. Okay. Can I get the hours at the game tomorrow? I'm going to go home and sleep. I If you just talk to us and give us some answers, we'll be able to help you. We're trying to figure out what's going on. Are you diabetic? 
Are you having a medical emergency? You're so cute. We are the police. We don't work for the airline. The airline calls us and we come over to a Yes, yeah, so she was screaming, We have no idea. I'm ready when you're We literally yeah. walked up. You were coming off the uh, plane. They're still running. No, it's just all about I got a picture of her. Oh, yeah. Okay, Miss Karina. Please don't touch me if you don't have a reason to. Okay, I have a reason to, okay? You're, I'm arrested? Yes, you're going to be arrested for public intoxication, okay? Seriously? Yep, and the reason is because I talked to the airline and they said that you were kicking and screaming and causing a disturbance. I was not doing any of that. The cops tried their best to persuade her to comply, but she wouldn't budge one inch. By this point, the cops knew that she was only going to prolong this case as much as possible, so they had no choice but to arrest her. But of course, she wasn't going to let that go easily. Calm now, the lieutenant, calm now. No. 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 No, I, I was not kicking and screaming anywhere on that thing. No, okay. pull up the finish. No, okay. I, that's Karina, a, no. Just calm down. No. Okay. Me then. We're not going to be No. Gonna no. We're not going to be here. Oh, that's me. I think it's not a good thing. It's You don't want to talk to us, Karina, so I had to go ask the airline. Okay, so do we really want to? No, I don't want you to touch me at all. Do you want to talk to me? No, 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 no. He's a liar. Did you just like some shit? No, I don't want to hear you. Where did that go? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I don't want to. There we go. And. Kelly. Hey, I don't. I really don't feel comfortable. I'm standing. I'm standing. I'm standing right here. No, I don't. No, I don't want him touching me. I literally. He's on a power play move. I don't want him touching me. I literally don't want him touching me. I think the footage really makes it clear just how uncooperative she was being. She kept shouting and throwing a tantrum to the point where she had to be pinned down to the ground. An important point to note here is that she still believes that she was the one in the right and not the plane staff. She even went as far as to say that she would have been okay with being arrested if she wasn't in the right, though her worst is yet to come. I'm asking you not to let him touch me. I don't want him. I don't want him touching me. Hey, I don't want him touching me. I said I don't want him touching me. I don't feel comfortable with him touching me. No, I don't want you touching me. Well, see, that's why he was doing that, because now you're kicking. Yeah, because he's touched me and I don't want him to. You shouldn't have touched a freaking woman if she doesn't want to be touched. Well, right now you're under arrest and he has that ability. Wow, because I'm under arrest? Okay, you. You. So, oh yeah, you can do whatever the f wants and put you in the cops. Karina, calm down. No. I don't want him touching me. I'm feeling really uncomfortable. I feel like it was like. He's just holding your leg. No, no, the fact that I was even arrested, I feel like I'm not. Like, it wasn't in the right. If I felt like it was in the right, it would be understandable, but I already feel uncomfortable about that. Because I wasn't in the fact that he's holding my leg. I feel like it would be understandable, but I already feel uncomfortable about that. Because I wasn't in the fact that he's holding me like this. It's not okay. How would you feel? Your dad's a police officer, right? Your dad's a police I'm officer. Not theology bill. Not Manson. Your dad's a police I'm officer. Not theology bill. I would feel comfortable because I trust yeah, him. Yeah, you feel comfortable? If he's just yeah. touching my leg. No, he's touching my yeah. with his leg. Your Take foot. your feet off of it. That's, your That's not my foot. It is. What's up? Touching it. You want to stand up? You want to stand up? You're saying that you're not going to kick him off. Yes, Daddy. I promise, Daddy. I'll be a good girl. Okay, uh, this is what this is what officers try to tell girls to do. Yes, Daddy. I'll be a good girl. You can discover world-class art at the Kilowatt Museum or swing by Sunday Square to enjoy a wide array of contemporary What's that? Don't want to shoot out of me. You can also visit the stock. Right? All right, Karina, can you walk for us? No. Lugo.
Oh, sorry. This is where she made her biggest mistake and literally kicked one of the officers. Honestly, even if she is inebriated, she should have enough common sense to know that a stunt like this can only make things worse for her. It kind of seems as though she's trying to collect as many charges as she can in the amount of time she has left, and she's really good at it. Unfortunately for her, all of these little stunts will definitely come into play later. I don't want him to play, I seriously don't. I don't want to touch him. Come on. Come on. I don't want to touch him. Okay. I don't want him touching me. Stop. I said I don't want to touch him. What don't you understand? What don't you I understand? Don't want to touch do not kick the officer. Do not kick I, an officer. Okay, so I have female officers that squirt me like ass. That's a do not kick an officer. Okay, I don't want to touch me. Do you understand? Do not. He touched me inappropriately. Do you understand? No, he touched don't. Me. I don't. Is she here? Call my lawyer. Get my lawyer. Get my lawyer. He touched me inappropriately. I don't want him to touch me again. You're touching me on my You're not touching yet. me right now. Get. No. Bro. Do not kick an officer. No, I don't give a Get my lawyer. Get my lawyer right here. now. I don't want him touching me inappropriately. Not yet. Okay, keep it going. Okay. Oh, so far. Ready? Yep. Right. Karina, stand up. Stand up. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. What? What we talked about earlier? Oh, okay. Um, don't you have my lawyer? Don't you have my lawyer? Because I don't feel comfortable being around y'all without my lawyer knowing where I'm at. Call my lawyer. Call my lawyer right now. Nice. You've already kicked him twice. Yeah, I don't want to touch him. Yeah, they're so great because he was touching me. Yeah. No, he wasn't. 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 No, 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 get in the car. 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 Get the car. Get in the car. Get you better keep an eye on me. If I die tonight, that's in your conscience, but that's your life. This is who you work with. I swear to God. See if you can uh, ratchet that part down there. I remember my first beer, bro. No, I'd rather you go with me. Hey, why don't you go with me, babe? Babe, hey, can you please go with me? I feel safer with you. Hey, the girl that was just about to get in, can you go with me, please? I feel safer with you. Yeah, so my coworkers are going to put out a missing person report for me tomorrow. I'm going to where the f*** I am. This, this is great for you guys. In a different state, since I was literally flying to a different state. But honestly, I don't give a fuck. Shoot me in the f***ing face. I really don't even care. You can shoot me in the face if you want. I really don't care. Go for it. Do it right now. Let's go. Just shoot me in the face, get it over with. Y'all are the ones that need to apologize to my mom after. It's fine, y'all can kill me. I'm not really worried about my life. You should probably take me in the woods, like a little deeper in this though. As you saw in the footage, it took the cops a lot of effort to get this Karen into the car. She was trying her best to resist arrest, and even after she was strapped to the car, she kept squirming around and attempting to get out. Hey, what? Huh? Huh? Can't say shit. Are you gonna behave in here? No, I just I said they were gonna. I didn't say shit. It really, like, it really is. I was trying to complain, you know, about the situation, but you know, it's not fun. Do you know? I got you. I got you. I got you. I got I got I got I got I got you. 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 We will tell you how to leave as soon as possible. No, I don't. I'm not done. I'm not done. You will leave. Cut off. No, let them cut it off. 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 Karina. We're done playing. Am I going to be stupid? Yes, sir. Karina. Right, because I was a gay man. I was a gay man.
Take your other shirt off. Lift your arms up. 30 minutes past midnight is when she was finally processed and this case was successfully done with. The officers can now take a well-deserved rest, and Karina got what she deserved too, as she was later charged with public intoxication, battery upon an officer, and resisting arrest. Elgin police, come outside. Come outside, Elgin police. Hello again, Miss Bro. I am minding my business. When officers Eukaitis and Philos got a call about a neighbor playing loud music at 7 in the morning. Situated in Elgin, Illinois, 45 year old Shannon convinced the officers that she would resolve the argument amicably and turn down her music. An hour later, they were called once more because things had gotten heated between her and her neighbor. And when they finally managed to get back to the police station to take a breather, they were called for the third time because Shannon still wasn't in the mood to cooperate. At around 10 a.m., they drove once more towards her residence. With neither of the the officers expecting such a hassle so early in the morning, but as the body cam footage will soon show, the worst of Shannon is yet to come. I understand. I appreciate you not going to the door. I did not. I did what you told me to do. But I have every right to say what I have to say out of my fucking mouth. Yes. So what yeah. am I doing wrong? Yeah. Why are you knocking on my door? Because I'm just trying to bring. Can I just just be? I'm just gonna be honest. All of that's being recorded. That's fine. Yeah. I don't care. I'm recording too. It's no problem. I don't okay. care. Okay. Listen. Look, you can... I'm about to snap. I'm going to go to jail. Like, like, literally lock me the f*** up. Listen. No, that ass. That the f*** ass. That the f*** ass. Lock me the f*** up. Lock me up. Because I'm going to whoop Mr. Ass, yo. I'm going to whoop his ass. Do you hear your Yo, that ass. I'm minding my f***ing business. I've been in here minding my f***ing business why are you at my door yeah but you're being too loud Ooh. did you hear me yes what? i did, did we, you? we, we heard you from outside the, the house man that's, oh, okay. that's why we came out here okay if i didn't hear you i wouldn't knock on your door but you're being so loud holy cow because i'm telling the fucking truth you could tell the <laughs> truth and talk in a normal tone of voice just like this no i'm pissed off yo you're Man. No, I'm mad. Man. I'm mad. I'm mad. Man. I have every right to be. I have every right to be. I have every right to be. You're... I have every right to be. I'm minding my fucking business. I'm gonna go to jail. You wanna lock me up? Take me to jail. No. Take me to jail. You Take to me, me to jail. Take me to jail. Man. I'm telling you right now. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna go to jail. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go to jail. Do you hear what I'm saying to you right now? Ma'am, you didn't take- No, do you hear what I'm saying to you right now? I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail today. Can you hear me? Yeah. Just from her tone of voice, we can clearly understand that something is wrong. She is extremely agitated and isn't responding to anything that officers are saying. It's almost as if she can't even hear them. And instead of complying with their demands, she feels like running around and shouting is going to help things. Yes, she I knocked on their door. Or yes, I did, cuz this motherfucker wished death on my daughter. And he wished death on my daughter. He said, he said, I hope your daughter come over here and die in the bar backyard. Man. No, I'm done. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You are no. so drunk right now. Yeah, I am. I'm my not. And that's man. why I'm here. Because you're drunk and you're not and thinking. My... Let me show you. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to show you. I've been in my house, minding my business. You were talking, talking too loudly. I'm talking too loudly. Yes. Now they can hear me. Now they're, now they're upset because she got 10 days to get out. How about you take a nap? And I'm going to up out of here when he's not supposed to be here. How about that? How about you take a rest and go to sleep because, because you're drunk? I have a... I'm, no, my house... Look, you want to see how, about, how much I've done? You want to see how much I've done? You telling me I'm drunk? How about another suggestion? Oh, that really pissed Maybe, me off. This side of the house, we probably can't hear you as much, but the front, it's pretty damn loud. I mean, yeah. yeah. Can you make it? Is this your kitchen? Is your kitchen? Guess what? I could hear them when I had to be at school at 8 o'clock right. in the morning in Palatine. All right. The fuck are you talking about? 
We can clearly see just how inebriated she is, and how she hasn't even realized that she's digging herself further down into the hole with her loud behavior. While she seems to be unaware of her surroundings, the officers realize that they need to find a way to de-escalate the situation. So, they decide to finally make a decision and put her in handcuffs. But she isn't gonna sit back and let them arrest her that easily. Here. You are not supposed to Right. Be here. Uh, Ma'am. But uh, he's now not you're under supposed arrest. to be here. For what? For disorderly conduct. Let me hold this. I won't break it. Now you're under arrest I for disorderly conduct. For what? I said now you're under arrest no. for disorderly conduct. No. No. Go, no. Now you're He's under arrest for disorderly no. conduct. Put your hands behind your back. Step down here. That's enough. Okay. Nice and No. Easy. No. Put your behind your back. Don't do Take that. it easy. Come on. So why, why are you doing that? Enough is enough. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Enough's enough. Why are you doing this to me? What are you? Fuck you with him. He's feeling threatened. You already threatened him earlier. Came and up to his front not... door and now you're screaming at him. And he you're doesn't live disorderly. here? He doesn't live here? Doesn't Wait a matter. minute. He, he doesn't live doesn't here? Matter. Where's your camera? Here. Where's your camera? Right sure okay, you so this man yeah. does not live here. Hold on, wait. Can you door. please? Let can you let me get my keys? Sure. Where they let at? me get my keys. Hey, right here. And then, hold on. The whole thing? Me. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Because, um, so hold on. Wait, 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 oh, yeah, wait, wait. Where wait, is my bond money? Where is my bond? Why are you, what are you? Enough's enough. Let's go. Why are you taking me out of my house right now? Why are you taking me out of my house right now? So is it kind of? In my house, I'm getting arrested for... Hold on, because I want to mm -hmm. see in my video, right here, because I'm right here in my video. Go ahead, buddy. The police is arresting me yeah. for discordantly odd, and I am not outside of my house. Ma'am, please. Yep, nope. Oh, you're on the video. Man, you're man, under video. You. No, you're under video right here. I'm begging right you to there. recognize you how you're acting. No, 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 no. You arrested me out of my house. Come on. Come on. Out of my house. It's okay. Out of my house. It's okay. Chill out. Yeah, I know. You're under video surveillance right there. Everything's right fine. there. I know. Everything's all right. Just chill out. And I'm not fighting you. I think you're having a rough day for some reason, okay? Yeah, I know. And it's under surveillance okay. right there. Yep, right there. Okay. Can you please stop holding me so tight? Ma'am, please. I am not resisting arrest in any type of way. Ma'am, No chill type out. of way. I'm holding on to you. I was at home minding my business. I'm holding on to you because you're drunk and I don't business. want you to fall over. And Mr. Williams said I'm drunk and he doesn't want me to fall over. But clearly you see. Oh, this is all on video. Mm -hmm. Everything I say. Everything I say, and I was in my house, and I'm in dishonorly conduct. What is coming to you? What the f did I do? What is my charges? What did I do? 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 Oh, okay. Now you see how you rough handed me? Not rough handed. Yeah, you rough handed me. As the video goes on, we can clearly see how much of a bother she is for the officers, and despite her denying it, she is definitely resisting arrest. She just needs to understand that it doesn't matter how loud she shouts. Even if she uses a megaphone to say that she didn't do anything, it won't make her crimes any less real. And thankfully, all of these things will come into play really soon. Yeah, he is rough handed me. Uh, so I can lock these. Hold on, hold on, it's hold on, okay. Hold on. No, I'm trying to hold get on. in the car. Damn. Now why are you roughing me? You is a whole bitch. Come on, hold on. Don't worry about it. You are out of your mind right now, no, man. You is a man. You arrested me out of my house and I'm going to sue the fuck out of you. Okay. Yeah. They're arresting me out of my house. They're arresting me out of my house. Thank yep, you. you're going to get arrested. Yep. Come on. You arrested me. Out of All right, I'm gonna put house. your seatbelt on to make sure you're safe. Okay. Thank you. Don't touch me. Stop touching me. Why did you arrest me out of my house? Ma'am, you're what being did I do? very disorderly. It's like you said. You almost wanted to get arrested. I don't understand it. Just don't talk. Okay. You're under arrest. You don't have to make any statements. Can you please let me out and get my phone call so I can call the lawyer immediately? 
They reach the police station, and by that point, Shannon is just a mess. She's speaking to herself and isn't making any sense at all. She keeps trying to convince the officer to allow her to make a phone call to her lawyer, but it's all to no avail. Ultimately, Shannon had to take accountability for her actions and was charged with misdemeanor disorderly conduct and resisting an officer. It's fair to say that she got what she deserved.